A lot of people, a lot of students still trying to make sense of what happened and why it happened. So what happens next? 8 News Now reporter Brian Will continues our coverage live from UNLV this morning. Brian. Good morning, Heather. Yeah, it remains quiet here at the UNLV campus since that shooting on Wednesday here. Those students are resilient, and we've talked to quite a few of them. Today is Rebel Red Friday, where people can wear their UNLV gear to honor the victims of the shooting. And of course, support is pouring in from across the valley. We're seeing UNLV strong and Vegas strong on marquees and signs throughout the valley here. And it's just one of the many messages of support. Most of the campus is reopened this morning, except for Beam Hall, where the shooting took place. And there continues to be a heavy police presence on campus, and anyone needing to retrieve items must do so through University Police Services. We caught up with students returning to get their items from campus to find out how they're doing. But I kind of had trouble sleeping last night. It just like was, I didn't really know what to think. And then like today, like I literally have just woke up and I like went and got food in our dining hall, and it's just kind of like quiet everywhere. Like no one's really talking much. There's not like. It's not like the normal like laughter and like noise you hear on a college campus like and like I have no idea how long that's going to be. That student told us he intends to go home, but he does intend to return for the next semester. Now classes and all activities are still canceled through Sunday and staff here will continue to work remotely unless they're needed here on campus. And if you can see behind me, that's the transit center where students and faculty should go if they're coming back on campus to get their belongings that were left behind on Wednesday here. So remains very active. There's still some police presence here. So if you're on campus, you will see quite a few police cars live at UNLV. Brian Will, 8 News Now.